Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be another Ants in Nature video, which is pretty much when I go ahead and pick an ant species, get some video of it, and actually just talk about their bio biology, what they do, uh, and some interesting facts about them. Today's video is going to be on Laceus brevicornis. Laceus brevicornis, or the yellow meadow ant if you want to go the common name route, is one of the most common ants in northern Wisconsin and around the Midwest. This species is mostly subterranean, only really being able to go out during early spring and late to early fall. They mainly get most of their food sources from just animals they find underground and from aphids, of which they farm under rocks and under pretty much anything that they can find them. Their tunnel complexes are extremely vast because of this. They probably take over massive areas of just them. Uh, they are also very polygynous as well, but we'll go ahead and get into that eventually later. Their workers are very yellow. They aren't the most yellow ants ever, but they are definitely up there for sure. The main places where you will find Laces Brevicornis is in dry woodland areas and grasslands. If you ever find Laces Brevicornis in a forest, it is more than likely Laces Nearcticus, which is a very similar species, which is also polygynous. Those two species are practically one and the same. Uh, it's just that one occupies dry woodlands and grasslands, while the other occupies a forest. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into their polygyny. So, their polygyny is pretty neat because uh, during their founding time, they are actually known to found with upwards of 50 queens. Now, whether or not they keep all 50 is a big question because I've tried to found with 50 queens and it always has failed, but I'm sure that it works sometimes seeing as in they always, like, I always find groups of like 50 plus queens just all huddled around trying to dig a tunnel. <laughs> But it seems like uh, the most successful groups are those that are within the 5 to 7 range of queens. That seems to be a really good number, and they seem to do really well with that. Due to the amount of queens that they can have in a nest, these ants are incredibly fast growing. Oftentimes, from what I've witnessed, they can get over 500 workers within first year if you have tons of queens in one nest. Like this queen group here, they are more than likely going to get hundreds of workers if they manage to survive and actually found a colony. The queens are absolute egg-laying machines, and it's never just one or two queens laying when you get a group. It's normally multiple queens, like as in maybe three or four of the queens that you have in a group will more than likely be laying eggs at the same time. It is due to this that they have absolutely rapid growth. Like this group here, probably most of those queens will be laying eggs by the time that the colony is around about a year old. So following year is just going to be absolutely insanity when it comes to the amount of eggs that will be produced. Due to their polygyny, you can already know that this species gets absolutely huge colonies. Like I would say they probably get around about 13,000 to, to probably over 15,000 workers uh, depending on how many queens they have. This method of having multiple queens also makes them incredibly difficult for parasitic queens to actually go ahead and infiltrate their nests to parasitize the colony. It also helps being subterranean because you don't really have any nest entrances besides for under rocks where you may reside. These ants are also well known for actually making nests right next to or even inside of other ant nests. I cannot count the amount of times that I've seen Laceus brevicornis and Formica just nesting in the exact same area or literally having their tunnels maybe a few millimeters away from each other under rocks. Saying all this, they do still have some predators, mainly other ants. Here you can see workers from a Myrmica incompleta colony just absolutely destroying in a lake. Flights are truly the time when these ants are most vulnerable. As you can see here, they just get absolutely shredded by more aggressive species like Myrmica incompleta, which should have an Ants in Nature video coming up here pretty dang soon. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like the video if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it, subscribe if you're new. Uh, I hope I covered a lot of things that I found interesting about these ants, and I hope you guys found it interesting as well. But uh, yeah. I hope you guys uh, subscribe, uh, stick around for the Incompleta uh, video that's coming up alongside a bunch of other stuff that I have planned out, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.